Hey guys, and welcome back to Corolla on this Monday evening. It is raining yet again for like the fifth day in a row on my freaking town. Okay, it didn't rain Saturday, but it's rained a crap ton. And I want to enjoy an evening without the rain, but we get to bring out our flame umbrella. That's right. Okay. Unfortunately, I did not get to play Saturday Night for KK, and I was too tired. I went to bed. I completely forgot after this was the cross country meet. I was exhausted, and I forgot to get back on. And what was I doing? And Sunday was just jam packed with homework and stuff. I spent like the whole day doing college things, and um, we had to do some fundraising stuff for cross country. So unfortunately, I did not get to play Saturday either. So the last time I played was the last time I recorded actually. Uh, today is the day that Sahara came in town. Our house is bigger, and maybe something else is going on in town. We're going to get to do a couple things, so this will be cool. I don't see any neighbors. Now, we have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people. And I think that's... Oh, we did get a new person. Looks like we've got our 15th person. I think you can have 15, 16 people in town. So let's actually go meet her right now before I forget, because I will forget to do this. Go meet Cleo. Hail. Pink horse. The snowflake umbrella. That's interesting. Oh, oh my gosh. Another one of you? Another person to join the clan of... I don't know. I guess I can call them the mean girls. I don't know. Another group. You, Lobo, that other person, Blue Bear, all of you guys. Yelly Von Hollerlots. I don't even say anything. I just came up to you to, like, say hi, and you... Me and my big, rather cute mouth. Oh, shut up. Oh, gosh, people like this can drive me crazy. We can't, we're not going to be able to talk to you. Ugh. Nope, not happening. <clears throat> What's your house look like? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed looking at this naked woman. I do like the song KK Basa. I need to get this in KK Area, the two songs I need to get next in Gumbo. Those will probably be my songs. Unless you guys have a specific song you want me to get, you can comment below. Nobody ever does, so. As far as songs go, all I get is spamming comments for Tornado Survival, but we're not gonna go there today. I've done enough crap to you guys, so. Alright, we had mail, and I know that probably bothered some of you that I didn't check that, but. We're gonna check my mail now. I had to do that because I knew I was gonna forget. Oh. Well, hey, would you look at that? Tom Nook remodeled while we were gone. That's cool. So while we were gone, he sent the mail Saturday night, I guess. And yesterday he was closed, which is good. I didn't even get on. So today, we actually get Nookway, brand new store. Um, that's the store we saw in Albany, so we'll get to take a look at that. That's awesome. We don't need this. I'm not gonna dig up fossil today. I'll let them turn to gyroids and sell them. Okay. Before we go visit Nooks, let's check our house, make sure everything's okay with this, because I know he'll tell us about this. Alright. Yep, it's bigger. So now this upstairs is the size of the basement. As you can see, it expanded two spots to the right and two spots down. So we now have a much better space to store stuff. I'm just going to shove this to the wall for now, and we'll uh, do some serious interior designing later. Yeah, this is really crappy. We'll, we'll touch up on this later. We'll save that for another episode when we don't have things to do and places to be. shirt. Puzzling shirt. I'll try both of those on. Fall plaid shirt. Don't, aren't gonna want that. Puzzling shirt. That's cool, but uh, not my style. We're gonna stick with the flame shirt. Dude. 
It's amazing the game now knows that it's starting to get in the fall season because they put in that fall plaid shirt. And you'll start noticing little things that the game puts in as fall is approaching. Because I think our next holiday is not this Saturday, but the Saturday after is the fall is the first day of fall. So that'll be the fall sports fair, which is really fun to participate in. And we get we'll be able to talk to Tour Timer. Because pretty much after that, it's boom, 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 holiday after holiday. You get all sorts of awesome stuff for your house. And Tom Nook will start putting furniture in for like fall. Um, I know we'll start keeping an eye out for it. We do need to get. We'll, we'll, we'll see. He'll start getting some stuff. I'm so happy now that we have Nookway. Nookway is probably my favorite one. Um, my favorite store. It has. It adds new items and new variety to it. Nooking tins can sometimes just be a pain in the butt. Because I'm not sure if it has this. Although it might have normal hours in this game. It might not be like City Folk. Because Wild World, they all had the same, but I know that Nook and Go had slightly different hours, so. It might be different than this. We need to plant some more cherries at some point. We'll do that another day when we have nothing else to do. Like I said, Nook Way! Much bigger shop. Like a treasure in my discount rack of the day. Oh. The house is finished. Yes, it is. I am very pleased with the work. It's a little bit more space. It's the size of our basement now and of the house on the island. So we have plenty of room. We have three extra large rooms to put stuff in now. Holy freaking crap, Tom Nook. You're killing me here. The sea bass are back now. How am I going to be able to pay that off? It's going to take a long time. I'll tell you that much. It's not going to be as quick as the last couple ones. But, like I said, we've got... We're not on a time limit. Alright, so let's go ahead and show off what... All this new stuff is. So we're just going to start here. He now has three shirts. And he now has four pieces of furniture. He's got three normal ones. And usually what he does is he puts in one spotlight item or one more rare item or a bigger item. As you can see, this is bigger than the other ones. Um, if he, he has like a spotlight item occasionally, and he'll send you a letter in the mail that's like, Today we have this item. And usually it's over here in this left corner. I don't want any of these items today. So yeah. He still has two wall... No, he had one wallpaper and flooring still. So now he's got two wallpapers and two flooring now. So we have that upgrade. Nope. He still has two... He still has two tools. So that's nothing new. Um, he now has he had two stacks of paper before so that's nothing new um, he's still got one umbrella but what one thing he has new is he sells journals you know that little diary we have in our house that's for like a calendar he has there's like there's like 20 of them you can buy from him. he puts a new one in every day I don't want to pay polka dotted one but if we find one that's pretty cool we might buy it and replace it because the one in the house is pretty crappy he now has paint so now, instead of waiting to remodel your house to pick a new paint, you can now repaint your roof whenever you want. So, he has a different color every day. Come in here, you can buy it and repaint your roof all the time, if that's what you'd like to do. Um, this is a new item he also has. We're going to go ahead and buy it, just because I want to show it off. It is a signpost, and unlike in Wild World City Folk, you can't place patterns on the ground. So this is kind of their, the GameCube's version of this. You put, you place the sign like in front of something and then you go to press A like he's saying and once it's in place you can put down any of your own designs that we made so we might, we might go make some pretty cool ones and we can put those around um, a new thing now he's now sells pine saplings so he always sold like one of the normal saplings well now if you want to grow pine trees you can get the pine tree sapling and he has four flowers we're gonna buy them all but we probably don't have room We'll come back. We're gonna make a round, a round, a round town. Do a couple things, and then we'll come back to Nooks. So as you can see, it's a much bigger store. Much bigger. And we've got one more upgrade to d to go. And if we we need to get, I might go play as my Mike character in Albany and come over here and buy some items from the store because it'll help it uh, um, upgrade. Lobo, how are you doing this evening? How are you doing? 
that right good and good, but if you work too hard, your body might just shut down completely one day. Hey, that was actually a nice thing he said. Oh, and, oh, okay. We'll see who's laughing when you get soaked and catch a cold. Yeah, I know, it's actually, we had, it was so hot on Saturday. I'm not trading that. No, I want to donate it, sorry. So as you can see, our fish is rather poor, because all I've done is ocean fishing. We have quite a bit of bugs, though. There's a bunch of new fall bugs that we haven't been able to get yet, but hopefully soon. Yeah, it, well, as I was saying, it was so hot Saturday, and then the storms rolled in, and it cooled off. Like, I, I wore a sweatshirt this morning. I was like, what the heck? This happened so fast. You know, it's cool outside right now. I slept with my window open. It was so nice. Okay, I have a couple fossils to donate from a while ago. And that mantis that's been sitting in our pockets forever. We're gonna start with this, because it's a pain in the butt. Fossils, the stego tail, I believe that's a new dinosaur we haven't started yet, so we get to start the stegosaurus. And I believe the petrodon, we will be able to finish that. I believe this is the last part. Yep. Petrodon is complete. Simply marvelous. Truly, this is beyond all joy. Ta 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 ta. Ah, oh, woohoo, amazing. I'm a flutter. I'm a twitter. This one creature is not actually a dinosaur, but rather a flying reptile. It did, however, live among many dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. Fascinating, hmm? The structure of its immense wings suggests that it stayed aloft by gliding rather than flapping, you see. Imagine petrodons with wingspans of over 20 feet swooping down to catch fish in their pelican-like beaks. Wow, that, that'd be pretty scary. That's like... That'd be like as big as my a bird with a wingspan, like, as tall as my house. Just swooping in and just eating you, pretty much. Yep, it's finished. It's not gonna tell us anything about it, okay. Um, let's see, we have... We've started all the, the all of the fossils now, so the fossils are coming along. We don't need too many more, but the parts we need are rare ones. And we still don't have any paintings. We have a couple fish. We have plenty of bugs, but I need to work on the fish and the paintings a little bit. Always, let's go in here and visit. Furniture, furniture, yes, furniture. Melon chair, we'll sell it. Whatever. All right, let's see if Sahara still came in the rain today. We haven't really had a day on Animal Crossing where there hasn't been anything to do. Okay, she still is... D1. Well, we're not gonna make it over there in the time she's still there. So we're gonna stay over here and do some things along the beach. Like, we're gonna plant ourselves some coconuts that we had. gonna place this sign I'll place it right here we'll make it I want to make a flag to put on the island and we can 
put it right here also. It's like, shall I post a design? Post. We'll put something stupid here for now. Like, read the sign. There we go. Beautiful. But that's what you can do with that. So kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, so listen, we haven't really had much of a time to... to we haven't had a day where there's nothing to do, so I haven't made a pattern in Abel's. There's pretty much been something to do. Things are going to start slowing down a little bit more now that our debt's a lot higher. Tom Nooks is going to be a lot a while before he expands again. Um, we have about a week or two before the next holiday. And we have... Oh, hey, it's Sahara. And we have only one more visitor coming to town that we haven't met yet. Um, well, technically, actually two, but I have to go do some more travel. So we're going to talk to the camel Sahara. I came from far away. I wish to sell carpets. You'll give me a carpet and some money, and I give you a carpet, a very exotic carpet. It's called a trade-in. What do you think? Do you want a carpet? I don't have a carpet to give you, I'm sorry. And there's, well anyways, there's a whole collection of carpets you can get from her, and there's special carpets that you can only get from Sahara. Um, only rare carpet. So you give her 3,000 bells and an old carpet. And with that, she'll give you one of her special carpets, and you can only get them from her. And some... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's just the simple way that it works. So certain carpets, like the Sea View Wall, you can't buy at Tom Nook's stop shop, even if he's having a sale. You can only get it from Sahara. Or Sea View, like the ocean beach floor or something like that. Let's drop some stuff up in our house. After, yeah, let's just drop some stuff off in our house. Then we're gonna go back to Nooks. Basement's just so cute. I don't want that. We're gonna sell all. We're gonna sell all this stuff that I have. To Nooks. And again, I, I don't really have much time to do off-screen play, so pretty much every time I play, I'm recording, which is kind of cool for you guys. I have everything, all the Tornado Survival recorded, so that'll all be going up. The next three days, and I'm probably not gonna have time to, I probably won't record Animal Crossing unless something specific happens over the next three days. I might just do some off-screen time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a car, but we're gonna go do this with Sahara. Just just so we can say we can start collecting her. This 8 mat tatami was should have been pretty cheap. 800 bells. Yeah, I'll buy it for 800 bells. Because I don't usually do this very often, and I'd like to. Yeah, we don't need that. Alright, let's go. Could do some coelacan fishing. <laughs> that just never ends well. I have had, I've had enough fishing for a while. out in the rain today. It must be, temperature must not be too cold. So it gets that terrible time of year where you'll get like one rainy day in October and everything's just brown and it's cold and rainy. <laughs> hey, you're in your house. Dang it, we missed her. 
Okay, well, let's go scan the beach for Steelkin. I'm on my way to see where Booker has placed. Oh, he's a hat. Road, I don't understand your umbrella. Oh my gosh, I forgot to. Ch okay, Lobo never wrote us back after sending him that letter. I just realized that he never wrote us back. We sent him that letter with that umbrella. Let's go check to see if he's using it. I completely forgot about that. That was like in one of the first episodes that we did that. We sent him that um, that girly umbrella. Did he ever use it? I don't know. Yeah, he never wrote me back, I can tell you that much. I don't know why he never wrote me back, but... But they were always supposed to write you back. Bear. This is like the least visited acre for us. Yeah, as you can see, we don't we don't come up this neck of the woods too often. Oh, dang it, it's on the other side of the river. Really quickly, Lobo? No, yeah, did he even get it? Maybe it, it messed up somehow. Yeah, I do like the ants for Sailing? Yeah, I mean, I have a boat at the river and stuff, but I didn't, I'm not like competitive sailing like some of my friends are. Jeez. Crazy out there. Yes, you're on this level, thank you. <laughs> yes, we know you came far away. I would like to do a trade in Sahara. Trade bars for a trade, and you're very lucky. I will sell you Sahara's desert. You give me any carpet and 3,000 bells. Can you do this? Ah, that's a fine. I can do that. I'm talking like a New York accent. I suck at accents. Okay. Here you go. 3,800 bells for one of your rare ones. You only come every blue moon, so I'm doing it. I believe you can do as many as you want with her. Yeah, you can do as many as you want, so I'm gonna start doing that. Anytime we get a carpet from like a neighbor or a task or it's in the dump, and we don't want it, I'm gonna start remembering to save them for Sahara. That's something I should remember to do. Let's go see what this looks like and that'll be it for this episode. This episode's been pretty long. I'm gonna go watch some videos on Khan Academy of Limits to Calculus. What does this look like? Oh, we might have to put this at our... It sounds like we're running on sand on the beach. Yeah, so you couldn't get this at Tomlux shop, so... And you can't trade it either, this is a non-tradable item. Well, we might save that and put that at our island. So we're actually gonna put it, can we put it in here? Is there room? Oh, we had an 8-map to Tommy in here already? Oh, uh, why? Ah, oh, crap. Well, I kinda wanted to use that, so. It's in here. And we can ban a flooring, but I mean, I kinda wanted to save this to use, but still. We really need some new flooring for this house. <laughs> it's bad. This house is... We have the crappiest house ever. I need to put the items from the villager... I mean, from the tents we got. I need to put those away someplace else. I'm gonna put, I think we'll, we'll put like all the beachy, we'll just start like a beach house, like camping and beach house and some rare items that just don't fit in our house, we'll put at the, at the um, island. 
Um, and somebody asked, they wanted me to explain how all of the stuff works for the e-reader such. I do have some Animal Crossing e-reader cards, an e-reader Game Boy Advance, and the connecting cable. That's how we got to the island. Uh, probably some point this weekend, I'm going to make a video of a couple things, showing what you need to go to the island, how to set it all up. Of some gameplay footage of me playing Animal Island on the Game Boy Advance, some gameplay footage of me doing some of the other things you can do on the Game Boy Advance, like playing NES games or um, designing patterns, and I'll also show up the, how the whole e-reader thing works and show off my my couple Animal Crossing e-reader cards that I have, and then one of these upcoming episodes we'll start we'll start scanning them in and collecting the stuff from them. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Mike for Animal Crossing GameCube Journals. Join me another time this week as I play when something exciting happens in town. We still need to visit with Wendell, and I'm pretty much just going to be doing some off-screen work, collecting some furniture for our house, making us some money for our debt, and buying stuff from good old Tom Nook. Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!